Okay. Yes. We will have now four models. We will start now from the 1040, 1044, 1048, and then going up to the top model, which is behind me, the 1052. All the tractors will have dynamic performance, and this is our clever system, which enables you to have more power if you need it for your auxiliary consumers. So when you work in really hot conditions and the big fan in front needs more power, dynamic performance will automatically give more power so that you don't need to drive slower, but rather we have then additional power available. And as I said, in this case, up to 550 horsepower. Also, for the first time on a standard tractor, we will introduce a feature which we will call adaptive power. And this will enable you to actually change the output of the engine while driving. This means you have a menu in the engine and transmission menu, which there you can select basically your power level. So you can go from a 1052 to a 1044 or 1040 while driving. So did, would the reason for that be like if this was going to do some heavy tillage in this fall and then you're going to plant with it and you don't need that power, you can save some fuel? Exactly. Is Okay. This is the first reason, so you can actually save fuel when you don't need like all the horsepower because if you go to an incline, of course, the bigger engine or the engine with basically can dump more fuel yep. into the combustion chamber, although you don't really maybe need it. And then the other reason, of course, sometimes there are implements which are not rated for 550 horsepower from the engine. So, for example, PTO-driven implements. Oh, okay. There you can also prevent the tractor from breaking them by just simply reducing them the engine output and as I said you can do this while driving, no problem at all.